The Garden. A princess is coming to visit our country, said Lion. How can we show her how happy we are to see her? We could all bow, said Hippo. But then some of us aren't really the right shape for bowing. We could all cheer, said Elephant. But we might frighten her. We could dance, said Giraffe. Lion looked at Hippo and tried to imagine him dancing. He shook his head and all the animals sighed. <sighs> then Brown Bird, who had listened quietly, chirruped shyly, Couldn't we make a garden? Princesses love flowers. Everyone stared at the little bird. That's a very good idea, said Lion. We can all help to make a garden. First, the animals chose a piece of land. But it's much too rough, said Lion. We must break up the lumps of earth. I'll do that, cried Hippo. My feet are large and my body is heavy. So he stamped on the earth until it was smooth and fine. Good, said Lion. Now we must make some tiny holes for the seeds. I'll do that, cried Porcupine. The spines on my back are very sharp. So he curled himself into a prickly ball and rolled over and over until the earth was covered with tiny holes. Good, said Lion. Now we must plant the flower seeds. I'll do that, cried Grasshopper. I'm light and quick. So he jumped lightly and quickly over the earth, planting all the seeds. Good, said Lion. Now we must water the garden. I'll do that, cried Elephant. I'll use my trunk. So he filled his trunk from the river and spouted water all over the garden in huge jets. Good, said Lion. Now we must keep a lookout for Monkey, so that he won't come and spoil our garden. I'll do that, cried Giraffe. He stretched his long neck and peered this way and that. Brown Bird hung his head. He had wanted to help, but it seemed that a small brown bird was useless. Soon the tiny seedlings began to grow. And when Lion looked one day, he shook his head and growled, Weeds! They'll spoil our garden. Who will pull them up? None of the animals spoke. They looked at the ground and shuffled their feet. Then Hippo said, My feet are too big. I can't weed. My spines would scratch the leaves, said Porcupine, making an excuse. The weeds are much too heavy for me, said Grasshopper. My trunk would simply break the stems, said Elephant. My neck is so long, said Giraffe, that I can't stoop down that far. So the lazy animals turned their backs on the weeds. But a brown bird flew down into the garden. With his tiny beak, he tugged at a weed, then flew away and dropped it behind a thorn bush. Then back he flew to tug at another weed. The roots were strong and his beak was tiny and there were times when his wings ached. But day after day, Brown Bird weeded the garden. At last, his work was finished. Not one weed could be seen. The red, blue and yellow flowers had grown up tall and straight. The very next day, Giraffe looked out over the trees and shouted, The princess is coming! I see her! The animals gathered around the garden. They were amazed at how tidy it was. Perhaps the weeds all died, said Lion nervously. Brown Bird, perched in a tree, said nothing. The princess smiled when she saw the garden. It's the prettiest I've ever seen. You must have worked very hard. Uh, yes, yes, we, we worked, worked very hard, hard, said all the animals, smiling proudly. Now, 
Who will pick some of the beautiful flowers for me? She asked. Lion stepped forward. I told everyone what to do, so I should pick them. But I broke up the earth, said Hippo. And I made the holes for the seeds, said Porcupine. I planted the seeds, said Grasshopper. I watered the garden, said Elephant. I kept lookout, said Giraffe. The princess smiled. Tell me, who weeded the garden? None of the animals answered at first. N nobody did, said Lion. Then the princess saw two bright eyes and a tiny beak among the leaves of a tree. Did you do the weeding, Brown Bird? Brown Bird nodded. Then you shall pick the flowers for me, said the princess, for you must have worked harder and longer than anyone. Brown Bird flew down to the garden. With his tiny beak, he picked a flower and gave it to the lovely princess. He picked another and another until she held a beautiful bunch of red, blue and yellow flowers. Then the princess kissed his small brown head and smiled at him. And brown bird sang as he had never sung before until the sun went down on the lovely animal's garden. Thank you.